Hi, my name is Mike Pettigrew and welcome to another edition of Gear Up with Greg's. Today we're going to talk about Alaska heat pads. What is an Alaska heat pad? It is a 120 volt pad that is designed to heat such things as oil pans, hydraulic tanks, and a variety of other items such as batteries. The Alaska heat pad is available in a variety of sizes ranging from one and three quarter to five, like this unit, up to a 12 by 12 version, like this. They're also available in a variety of wattages, ranging from 50 to 720. So when installing an Alaska heat pad, how do you know which wattage to use? The general rule of thumb is that for every liter of oil you are trying to heat, you need between 15 and 30 watts of power. How is the Alaska heat pad installed? We're going to use this oil pan as an example. It has a capacity of approximately six liters and based on the information that we just learned of using between 15 and 30 watts of power per liter of oil, you would either use a 100 or 150 watt heat pad on this oil pan. So in this application, we're actually going to use a 150 watt heat pad. You never want to use more wattage than required. This will cause damage to your oil pan. The heat pad must be installed on a clean, dry, flat surface, which means also the paint has to be removed. As you can see in this application, the paint is still on the oil pan. You would actually have to take something like sandpaper, a roll-off disc, or something of that sort to remove the paint. And in doing so, you don't want to make the surface smooth. You just need to leave it slightly rough so that it aids in adhesion. Apply a liberal amount of Permatex 77BR silicone, or a product similar, to both the oil pan and the heat pad. Then install the heat pad onto the oil pan and apply pressure to remove the excess silicone between the pad and the oil pan. The excess product can then be used to seal the edges of the heat pad to the oil pan. Why use an Alaska heat pad? It will protect your vehicle or piece of equipment from damage on initial startup during those long cold winter nights. And no, this is not to be used as an electric blanket. I have had personal experience using a heat pad. Instead of using my block heater, I would only plug in the heat pad. This made initial startup very easy on the vehicle because the oil was already warm. Well, that's it for another edition of Gear Up with Greg's. Thanks for keeping it Canadian, eh?